Welcome to Country Girl with Kathy Jarvis and it's March and I'm in the greenhouse and getting ready to plant the cool weather crops that you can plant in the greenhouse. Now the greenhouse this time of year is a lot of work actually because you have to constantly be regulating the temperature. That means in the daytime you have to row up the sides, turn on the fans if you have fans and open up the vents and allow more air to circulate to try to keep it cooler and usually you don't put the shade cloths on until April so this first month of March you have to be really careful about watching the temperatures if it's getting cold you need to lower the sides if it's going to be cold or night you lower the sides close the vents um, you don't have to water as much uh, about twice a week now is what you'll be watering I'm going to be watering a little bit more often until these plants I'm going to plant today, seeds I'm going to plant today germinate. I'll water almost daily to keep them moist until they do germinate and then they'll be um, twice a week to water. So right now the greenhouse is pretty much empty. I've taken out everything that we planted for over winter. I've taken everything out except for the Brussels sprouts over there. I still got those peppers over there that I tried to overwinter. They haven't shown any signs yet of life. I haven't checked them today, but I'll check them later. But last week when I looked at them, they weren't showing any signs. So they're probably gone. So today what I'm planning on planting are my peas, my beets, my turnips, my lettuce, spinach, kale, Swiss chard, carrots outside in the bucket garden and I think that's about it for inside here now I do have on the balcony hardening off I have my brassicas um, the Brussels sprouts the cauliflower the broccoli and the cabbage that I'm going to plant out in the, into the outside garden so they're on the balcony hardening off today so let's get started and I'll show you what we're going to do. Now I've already got all the trellises up for my peas and for my tomatoes. Now this gar front bed here, I'm going to put tomatoes in. And I'm going to put um, turnips and beets down the sides. Okay. And then this one over here, I'm going to put peas. And that one back there, I'm going to put peas. That one over there is going to be the salads. That's going to be the uh, kale, the Swiss chard, and um, my sp spinach and lettuce will go over on that one. So I'm going to start planting and we'll see what we get. All right, in this bed, I put turnips on this side, the tomatoes will go here in the center, and the beets are here. Now the reason I did that is because I wanted my tomatoes in the center so I could reach in and get them without having to reach way in across the bed to get to them. And turnips are one of the last things that I usually use. So I'll be able to get to them easily after I get the tomatoes in here. And then over here I put in some early peas and down the center I've got carrots. Now, I found out a long time ago, the secret to carrots to germinate is to cover them and keep them moist 24-7. So that's how come the cardboard's down. And then in my tier garden, I put space hybrid spinach into the top ones. This one has bib lettuce. These two have red velvet. And those two down there have salad um, bow lettuce so that's what's going in there this is the compost that I'm going to take out once I get the new bed new compost bins made 
The strawberries that overwintered last year, we're seeing how they're going to do in here. Never had strawberries in the greenhouse before, so this is an experiment. Uncovered the uh, peppers, and I don't see any green on any of them, so I don't think they made it. Over here, I'm doing an experiment. I've got celery upstairs in the grow room sprouting. Probably just put some down here just to see if I could grow them in ground. And then I've got the uh, blue kale. Broccoli Rob. Now these are really old seeds, so I'm just trying out one little row of them, see if they'll work. And then I've got dinosaur kale. I got Swiss chard. And here I got Brussels sprouts that have been going all winter. And this little row I've got what's left of the carrots that I planted last year. And on this bed, I have more early peas. And I don't have anything down the center yet because that is where I'm going to put my onions when I get them. Or some of the onions. I'm going to make a row of onions down the center. So, one other thing that's very, very important. You notice I don't have tags or um, plant tags or whatever you want to call them. I don't have them everywhere. I just have them in the salad bed. The reason being is... That everything else has only one or two things in it. And I know what they are because of my handy dandy little sheet here. Don't know if you can read it, but for each one, I put what they were. Like the beets, they're bow's blood. They take 7 to 10 days to germinate. And my turnips are purple white top globe. And they take 3 to 10 days to germinate and 55 days to harvest. So I've got all that written onto the master sheet. And I also got marked whether it was north, south, east, or west. So I know which direction that we're working with. I have found that is the best way to, for me at least, to keep track of things in the greenhouse. And out in the garden even. Because um, tags get misplaced. They wear out. Um, sometimes they fade. So even those I have tags, I also have on the master sheet here. So if the tag disappears, I can still look back on the sheet and see what it is. And the sheet will go in the house with me so I'll, it will not get wet or damaged or anything. It comes back and forth with me. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. I didn't show much of the planning because, let's face it, it's easy. You read the directions on the back of the package, and that's what you go for. Now, my peas, you can see I haven't covered them yet, but I plant them in double rows on either side of the trellis, and there's about six inches in between, and that gives you enough to climb up the trellis and give you space in between also to plant little things. So, I'm going to cover these up and water it down really good one more time and I will be done unless I decide to take that plastic up. I may decide to take that up yet. But I need to get this done so I can get to the gym. I've got to take care of the cats first. I've got to give medicine to five of them and then hopefully go to the gym. So remember to dream big, follow that dream, like, share, subscribe, and Get out there and get in your garden and get yourself happy. See you in the next video. God bless. Bye, everybody.